Hey folks, Joe Baker with Trade Pilot Pro doing your nightly market analysis. I mentioned last week on the 24th about my concern of this Fibonacci ABC pattern down. Uh, for those of you that do not know what Fibonacci is, I suggest you Google it. It is something that's been around uh, for many, many hundreds and hundreds of years. And it is very powerful and very predictable. And I would not want to get in its way. Uh, it's to me this whole pattern uh, as a as a technician looks like the perfect storm uh, I just want to make that noted that I I did have cause for concern when it got to the 1281 or got to the 1281 50 area that it, it just was not going to hold and get this next leg up so we did not hold it and we have fallen I did say we'd have about a 400 point move uh, coming fairly quickly in last night's video and we got 240 of those today so this just gives me even more cause for concern so let's go over this pattern again the A portion to the B portion okay in this Fibonacci sequence you would add from your C portion to D portion which brings us down to 1080 on the S&P folks that's a that's a ways away um, we don't want to take out this 1212 area and we definitely don't want to take out this 1200 and we are at 1233 currently now I also said that there could be a stall and a break in this pattern and possibly uh, for those of you that are long uh, just trying to give you a glimmer of hope here that we could go the A portion to B portion and then bring this portion up again and bring us up in the 1320 area now that didn't happen. Um, again, you could you could tell the, the the concern that I had when I mentioned it that I was highly unlikely. Now, what we have done is on this leg up, we've retraced 65%. What that tells me is that within this pattern sequence, we will not take out the high in this cycle. Okay. Now, a lot can happen in here. We could bottom out. We could double bottom. We could come up. We could do you know a Gartley pattern we could do some type of a double bottom uh, with positive divergence so all's not lost it's just that we really have to stay focused on these areas now this 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 price channel here between the 33 the 12 and the 1200 is, is really a, a, it's a must watch area and you have to be very concerned about it if we do take out the 1200 area then really there's there's nothing in this this path to take it all the way down it, it it could be just a waterfall so I don't know what the impetus is gonna be to to do that to this market I just am cause for concern and I promised you I would keep an eye on the daily markets and let you know what I'm seeing so I did say we're seeing about 400 points uh, one way or the other um, and that 400 point projection did bring me down to about the 1212 area and we are now only um, you know about 21 points away currently uh, so anyway that's what I'm seeing folks I will keep you posted tomorrow night as to what I'm seeing in the market again uh, brush up on those Fibonacci's um, they do help it is hard to spot but uh, you know with good practice you you'll be able to see them they they're, they're all over the marketplace uh, intraday time frames larger time frames um, they show up almost everywhere, so uh, they're, they're a good pattern to know. I'm going to jump over, and we're going to do the uh, nightly pivots. For those of you that trade with us in the room, uh, we do a, a live tr uh, trading room intraday, and we use all these uh, numbers intraday as well. Uh, just one moment while I skip over. Okay, here are the pivots for tomorrow. The 1238.50 is my line in the sand. And for those of you that know this, that means I am bullish above and bearish below. Uh, my line yesterday, I believe, was 1250, for line today actually, was 1255. Um, and we didn't really hold that too long uh, before we took that out. So at any rate, uh, 1238.50, I am not bullish until we take that out. We do have a small pivot at 1239.50, 1239.75. We have a breakout level at 1240.75. We have a pivot at 1244.50 to 1245 area. 
uh, small pivot again at 12.50.50 and our target is 12.53 and a quarter with an extension of 12.56.75. Now below the 12.38.50 area I'm looking for 12.33.50, 12.28.25 would be my breakdown, 12.24.50, 12.25 area and then the 12.18.50 and the 12, 16, 25 for my ultimate target with my extension, believe it or not, down at that 12, 12 again. Um, we did get the breakdown and we got the breakdown extension today, so that worked out fairly well. Um, again, guys, I will repeat these and you can, I've made these numbers much bigger so you can pause the screen and if you want, you can hit the blog um, on the left side of the page and like I said, it's uh, once I get enough subscribers in there, I will be sending this out so you guys can print this on a nightly report so you can keep it next to your computer. And uh, if you want to just uh, put your email in and put subscribe to the newsletter, I'll be sending this out in a PDF format so that you can uh, print it. And we will uh, run down these numbers again. 1238.50, line in the sand, looking for 1239.50. 124050 to 1245 1250.50 target 12.53 and a quarter with an extension of 12.56.74. Below 12.38.50 we have 12.33.50, and 12.12.50. Uh, for my extension to the downside. Again, folks, uh, trade carefully, and if you would like to uh, step in and see how we call it learn and earn in our uh, trading room, we try to teach the art of S&P trading, what we look at in today. There's an awful lot to look at when trading the S&P futures, folks. So if you're curious on how we do it and how we manage our money, uh, stop right in, just send me an email, and we'll get your passcode for the week. And if you'd like to be part of the family, um, you can go ahead and join. Thanks a lot, folks, and I'll see you tomorrow.